A transitional constraint can be used to constrain a component so it travels along a curved surface on another component. This assembly has two cams with followers in the vertical slots. I'll start the constraint tool and select the transitional tab. Unlike most constraints, there aren't any options. The transitional constraint works by constraining a face on the moving part with a series of faces on the driving part. The faces on the driving part must be tangent. They can be connected with a sharp edge. First, I'll create the transitional constraint for the blue cam. I'll change the view so we can see the parts. And then, select the follower and then the cam face. When I click OK and drag the cam, the follower moves up and down the slot. Sometimes, especially with cylindrical followers, the follower can jump to the other side of the cam. This usually happens when you are turning the cam. When I create a transitional constraint on the yellow cam, the follower jumps to the opposite side. In this case, I clicked on top of the follower when I selected the face. Inventor tries to create the constraint so the place where I clicked is mated to the cam. If I had clicked on another place on the follower, the constraint would have been correct. Even if the constraint was created correctly, however, it's unstable and the follower can jump at any time. I'll click Cancel so I can make some changes before I add the constraint. Let's take another look at the follower on the blue cam. When I constrain the follower to the frame, I added a make constraint with limits so the follower stays in the slot. I'll suppress the transitional constraint and drag the follower so you can see the limit of its range of motion. It can move up and down in the slot, but it can't move outside of it. I'll press the Shift key and right-click to display the Select menu. Change Filter to Part and double-click the frame to edit it. I'll zoom into the top of the slot. Add a work plane. And then return to the assembly. I'll create a mate constraint between the axis of the follower and the work plane and add limits. Now, when I create the transitional constraint, It mates up correctly.